So rather than having to remember that diagram with the little arrows going through all of the sublevels every single time you want to write an electron configuration, it's a lot easier if you can just look at the periodic table and get the information that you need. So I've got a little mock-up of a periodic table here and it's, it's color-coded and it's uh, labeled in a very specific way. And for this purpose, uh, we're going to make sure that we remember that helium actually belongs over here right next to hydrogen. That's why it's colored in purple, uh, just like hydrogen is. So we've basically divided the periodic table up into four blocks. This, uh, these first two groups right here, this is called the S block. Uh, this yellow group here is called the P block. The blue group in the middle is called the D block. And then down here, the gray group here is called the F block. And I've also uh, got them labeled with the sublevel that corresponds to that row. The blocks are not coincidentally the same number of columns as the number of electrons in those sublevels. For example, in the S block we have two columns. Well, there are two electrons that can fit into any S sublevel. In the P block, if you count them, we've got six columns, and that's because there are six electrons that can fit into the P sublevel. The D group has ten columns, and that's because there are ten electrons that fit into D. And the F group has fourteen columns, because of the 14 uh, F electrons that exist. So there are seven rows to the periodic table, seven periods, and that corresponds with our seven energy levels. So if you want the electron configuration for any element, all you really do is have to read from left to right, top to bottom, as if it were a paragraph, and, until you get to the element. So we would start with 1s, and that would be the only thing on the first row is 1s, then 2s and 2p, then 3s and 3p, then 4s, and then we get to 3d. Now remember, the d electrons, we don't see them until the third energy level. And since this whole block here is d electrons, the first row of this block has to be 3d, because that's the first time we see d. So even though it's in the fourth row of the periodic table, it's one row behind. The entire D block is one row behind where it should be. So after 4S comes 3D, then 4P, then 5S, then 4D, then 5P, then 6S, and then we go down here to the F block. And you'll see that this is called 4F. It's called 4F because the first time we see the F electrons is in the fourth energy level. So the top row of the F must be 4F, which means the row underneath it is 5F. So 6F. A 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, 6d. And then the elements over here would be in 7p. So in order to write an electron configuration, we just start at, or we start at the top and we end at the element that we're at. Everything will be full except for the last sublevel that we mentioned. And that might be full depending on where it falls in the block. If it falls at the end of a block, it's going to be full. But if it falls anywhere else in that block, it won't be full. So if we have all of our elements, and you can maybe see the outlines of the S block, if you kind of look carefully. And there's the P block over here and the D block in the center, and the F block down below. And let's say that we wanted to find the electron configuration for germanium right here, number 32. So the full configuration, now 32 here, this is on the fourth row of the periodic table. It's in the P block, and it's the second one over. So it's going to end on 4P2. Everything before that will be completely full. First row is just 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and now we have the first row of the d, that's 3d10, 4p2. And that would be the electron configuration for germanium. If we want to do the noble gas configuration, it's very simple. Go back to the previous noble gas, which would be argon, write argon down, and then continue on as usual. So it would be argon in brackets, 4s2, 
This is 3D10, 4P2, and you're done. If you want to do uh, rubidium right here, number 37, the Roman numeral, or the uh, noble gas form rather, go back, Krypton, 5S1. It's in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th row down, S block, first one, 5S1. So Krypton, 5S1. If we want to do the full electron configuration, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D10, 4P6, 5S1. Now it's pretty simple. You can use this instead of doing the diagram with the arrows, or you can use the diagram with the arrows if you're so inclined. This is just a lot easier to do than that. So good luck with it.